Good afternoon, YouTubers. Friends, family, RV Debs here with you. It's Thursday. It is um, around noon. And I have been wanting to talk to you guys a little bit. Uh, it might be a little ramble here, but I'm going to get some stuff out and see if it comes out okay. I may never even upload this. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you all that um, I've been sick. It's not like sick, like hospital sick, but sinus infections and um, just really not feeling good. You know, just no energy and um, not really feeling like doing too much. And I haven't been doing very much. Just what I have to do, you know. Uh, one of the things, a, a few of the things I've been thinking about is the comments that I get. Now, mostly I get great comments, and people are, are so kind and, and concerned. And so, first, first of all, let me tell you that we live, I don't know if it's seven or eight, eight hour drive from Houston. So, we're not in any danger here in uh, this area of Texas. It's a terrible, terrible situation, though, for the folks on the coast. And there's so much flooding, and it's just been heart wrenching watching. Uh, the TV and <clears throat> seeing the suffering and uh, just it was it's been horrible so you know we pray that those people find peace and get the help they need and can just hang hang in there you know because this is a terrible tragedy for a lot of people thousands of people um, so that's that's all we can do is pray for their their well-being and that you know things work out for the people but thank god we are, we are far i mean it's just been mild here as a matter of fact today was in the 60s and it was beautiful this morning i went out and walked the dogs and the, the it was gorgeous weather i mean just the most perfect sunny cool not hot it's going to get hot today because that's just how it happens. But mornings here and evenings are in the 60s now. And that's just a great change. One of the things that has basically bothered me a little bit. And I shouldn't let what others' comments bother me. But I'm only human. And, you know, we all say, oh, you know, let, let it roll off your back. And I do. I, you know, I'll, I'll delete something that's hurtful. But... I still read it, and um, a couple of people that have been following me for a long time, you know, I know their names and who they are, um, but they're the kind of people that I'm sure every channel gets, where no matter what you put out, there's always going to find fault or mistakes or point out their way of doing it better or what I should be doing, or how I, you know, I don't look good, or I'm not, I'm not doing well, or, you know, and basically, um, I have just kind of been thinking, why am I going through this? Why do I share my life with you guys? Why? You know, and I have to think about that because I'm not traveling. That's right. Someone said, you know, you're going to just wind up staying in that hit town. That's what they called my little town. A hit town, and you'll just die there. And you're not, you know, doing anything. You have no adventures in your life left. You might as well just die, basically. And that really hurts my feelings, because I don't consider Knox City a hit town. I consider it a small town, small town USA. Texas, it's a lovely little town. I have grown to love it. And one man's adventure is another man's, you know, nothing. I, I feel I'm, I'm going to be 67 years old. I don't need to go ride, you know, race cars and, and climb mountains anymore. But of course I'm going to have my own adventures. And I really took offense to the, to the comment because just, I mean, there's a lot of us that live in RVs that don't travel. 
And it's okay. This is what I choose to live in. And many of us do the same thing. I don't feel that it's necessary to go in my travel trailer, in my truck, um, on adventures and new places and park and find a place. In That's not my thing. And I've learned that over the last couple of years. But I enjoy my little sweet town. I enjoy the side trips we take. And the beautiful animals that are here, the horses and the goats and sheep and and the coyotes and and just it's a great place to be. Much better than for me to live in a city. And I've lived in cities and you know, I find that this is really good for me now. Does that mean that I'm never gonna leave Knox City? Hell no, that doesn't mean that. What it means is I have home to come home to if I do leave. That's fantastic. I love my family and friends here. Every single one of them. Everyone's different. We all bring so much and there's so much joy having our families tight. And um, I do not I do not feel like I'm never going to have an adventure. I, I'm trying to figure out when I want to trade my truck in for a van. Maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know. I'm not promising anything. I'm sharing my life with you guys. And I'm not even sure I want to continue to do that. If this, if, you know, I just, I don't know. I've been sick. And this person said, you don't take care of yourself anymore. You don't dress up and you don't, you know, you don't look like you care and that's terrible what a what a slap in the face after all the hundreds of videos I've put out if I put a video out that I'm not looking good and I don't feel good that's where I'm at there's nothing wrong with that when you have a head cold you don't feel like putting a lot of makeup on and going out on the town but anyway, that's one of the one of the low blows comments that and, and it, it's not a troll. It's a person that follows me and they know who they are. And then just cut me to the core thinking such nasty things about me. I'm going to die here. Well, if I die here, then I'm supposed to die here. But I'm not ready to die. I have tons of living to do. And the other person who always seems to have a negative comment, it could be just the littlest thing, but it's always like the, the negative side of life. You know, um, this one person, um, I had mentioned that we're going to have a big concert. We are, we're going to have a live concert coming up. Randy Rogers band which is a texas big known band here i've never heard them i did listen and they sound good they're country music and country rock and um, we've had a lot of discussions about it people at the senior center have talked about it our families talked about it it's going to be interesting because right behind my rv my home is where their buses will be because it's an rv park and um, the stage will be right here. And there's going to be thousands of people. I had said in one of my videos that um, we're kind of not, not ready to see a bunch of drunks here. Because it's a young crowd. Um, you can bring your own booze. And we expect that there'll be thousands of people that come for this concert in the park and they're gonna be drinking. And this is our home. This is our little piece of property here, Kathy, Mark, and mine. And um, so yeah, it's a little worrisome, but we're gonna do it. It's gonna be from seven in the evening until 1 a.m. And you know, we don't know what to expect, but a lot of people say there's gonna be drunks. We don't have bars or anything in this little town. But people are going to bring their own booze and they're going to party. So that's what I meant. I, you know, nobody needs a bunch of drunks on their, on their air in the, where they live. 
Uh, is there going to be a bunch of drunks? I don't really know. And you know, I'm going to video the concert. I'm going to video what's happening, what I can see. So, but it is a free concert and we expect, someone said like 5,000 people. And there's only 1,135 people in this town. So it's, it's kind of exciting. And who knows what's going to happen. But I really just wanted to make the video to like let certain people know that um, I don't appreciate mean comments from people that I thought were following me and caring about me and enjoying my videos. Um, I don't get that many trolls anymore, thank goodness. Uh, I appreciate that. There are always going to be people that we don't, you know, that I don't like or they don't like me or they think I'm awful. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. That's okay. It's the people that know me well enough and still have such negative views. And why do they watch? If you guys don't like me or you think I'm not interesting anymore because I'm, you know, just here in Texas, there's so many channels that are, are people are moving around and, and going places. I watch a lot of videos of other RVers that are moving on the road. You know, there's definitely people doing their thing and adventuring out and uh, in a nomadic kind of lifestyle, which is interesting to me. But there also are some friends of mine on here that are sitting in an RV right now and they're not moving that RV there. That's where they live. And I'm not gonna, you know, name people because it's ridiculous. But I just wanted to put the video out and say that I am loving a little area in Texas I do plan to go to California and back to Florida for a visit, but I don't know when, and I'm happy here. And uh, anyone who doesn't, you know, doesn't understand that, it's okay. You don't have to. But there's no reason to be mean to me. I'm not mean to you. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm going to take a drive and uh, go get some groceries for Saturday night's family night, which is going to be an outdoor hot dogs uh, pool party at one of our family members, and I'm making ambrosia. Thanks for watching my videos. For those of you who care about me, I appreciate it and love me. I love you back. And I just want you, I just needed to get this off my chest because. It bothered me that certain people cannot, they just have to find the crap out of life. They, they don't find any goodness out of it. I'm so lucky to have a little place to live that's safe, that's comfortable, that's among wonderful friends and family members now, watching kids grow, being a part of a family. So for now, that's what I'm doing. And this is my life. And I chose to share it with you. It's a daily vlog, but I've been just kind of skipping a few days. I haven't been feeling good. I'm just now starting to feel like I'm healing and ready to, you know, go out and shop and stuff. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. They're always appreciated. Thanks for watching.